What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Ready Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you the most important tips and tricks for your Oppo A7. So guys, in this video, I'll be just talking about the tips and tricks and if you want to know about all the features offered by this phone, check out my video on best features of Oppo A7, link will be in the description. Now with that said, first I would like to show you the most unique feature of this phone, that's the sidebar. Now right out of the box, you can see a tinted indicator on the right side corner. So when you're using your phone in a portrait orientation, you can swipe from the right side near this area to bring up the sidebar. Now these are some regular applications and these are quick actions. And at the top, you have two applications as fixed. That's a file manager and the camera application. Now when you click the file manager, it simply opens file manager in a floating window like this. And from here, you can easily share any information or any file with just few clicks. Next, we have a quick shortcut for the camera application. It just opens a camera app. Next, we have some more actions like taking a screenshot or else you can also record the screen. Once you do that, recording will start in three seconds and to stop it, you can click it over here. And next we have block all banner notifications. Once you click it, all the banner notifications will be stopped in full screen applications. Now, let's say you're playing PUBG and you don't want to be disturbed because of any heads up notifications. You can simply swipe near the notch and you will get the sidebar. From here, you can block all those notifications. Once again, we have this quick applications at the bottom. Now, if you click any of these applications, it will open in a floating window. So you can still continue playing game and check out your messages and WhatsApp messages as well. Only few applications are supported in this mode. Now at the top, we have the option to block all notifications, reject calls and lock the screen. So once you enable it, phone will be just locked to unlock the screen. You have to swipe up. I mean, swipe to the right side. Now at the center, we have the regular actions like taking a screenshot or recording the screen once again. Maybe you want to share your gameplay. You can record the screen as well. So if you want to stop it, stop it over there. So guys, that was the sidebar and that's the most unique feature available only on the Oppo and Realme phones. Now going on next, I'll show you how to enable the swipe up gestures. So if you want to use iPhone 10 like gestures, this is what you need to do. Go to settings, then select smart and convenient, then select navigation keys. By the way, from here, you can also change the position of these navigation buttons. Let's say you want the back on the left side. You can select this option. If you want it on the right side, like me, you can select the first option. Now, if you want to use swipe up gestures, you need to select the second option and you get all these gestures. The first one is the best one. So just select that one. And once you're done, you can swipe on the right side or left side to go back, swipe from the center to go home, swipe and hold for recent apps. Now, if you're using these gestures, there is no button to trigger Google Assistant. So one way to do it is go to the home screen and search for Google application and then trigger Google Assistant. Or else there is another quick shortcut to enable it, go to settings, then select smart and convenient and enable this toggle. Now, once you enable this toggle, you can press the power button for like half a second to trigger Google Assistant. It really works well. Now you can press the power button for half a second until you get a haptic feedback for Google Assistant to get triggered. How is the weather? Currently in Hyderabad, it's 101 and mostly sun. Now using this particular shortcut, it is that easy to trigger Google Assistant. Now going on next, I'll show you how to use split screen mode on your phone. Now if you are having navigation buttons, if you are using the navigation bar, you can press and hold the recent apps button to open the current application in a split screen and you can select the secondary application from the list over here. Or else you can go to the home screen and then select the secondary application from here. Now if you are using gestures, you obviously don't have any button to trigger Google Assistant. So here's a quick shortcut. To enable that, go to settings and then select app split screen. Now enable this toggle that says Swipe up with three fingers for split screen. Now this option is enabled by default, but for some reason, if it's not working, just come to this place and enable this option. Now, if you're using gestures and want to use split screen mode, you can simply swipe up using three fingers to open split screen mode. Once again, you can select the secondary application from the list over here. There we go. Next, I'll show you some screen off gestures. So to enable them or to try them out, go to settings. Once again, to smart and convenient, select gesture and motion, and now, Screen off gestures. First, we'll try double tap to wake. Once you enable it, when the display is locked, you can double tap the screen to wake it up. Now, if you are using face unlock feature, you can simply double tap the screen, display lights up and turn it to your face. Your phone sees your face and immediately unlocks the phone. Next, we have draw O to start camera. So just enable it, draw a no on the lock screen or when the display is off to open the camera application immediately. Next, we have draw to turn on flash. It's not toggle like the OnePlus phones. It will just turn on the flash. Now the phone is locked, it's a blank screen. I can draw a V to turn on the flash. Now to turn it off, I can press the power button once. Let me just try that once again, V. 
flash on, off. Next we have raise to turn on the screen. So you can find it in gesture and motion settings. Just turn it on. And once you do that, you can raise your phone to wake it up. Now, if you're using face unlock feature, simply raise your phone, display lights up, sees your face and immediately unlocks the phone. So if you're using this feature along with face unlock, your phone will immediately unlock with just a look at your face. So it just gives you a much more immersive experience. Next, I'll show you how to take screenshots. On any phone, if you want to take a screenshot, press the volume down and power button both at the same time. Once you do that, your phone will take a screenshot. Now, if that's a bit hard for you, we also have three finger screenshot. To enable it, go to settings, smart and convenient. Then select gesture and motion and enable three finger screenshot. Now, if you want to take a screenshot, simply swipe down using three fingers to take a screenshot. It is super simple and my favorite way of taking screenshots. And nowadays, almost all the phones support this feature. Now, for some reason, if you want to take a longer screenshot, maybe a screenshot of an application or a web page, you first take a regular screenshot. You can either use the buttons or the gesture. I'm going to use the gesture. Now click this button, long screenshot. Now you need to simply scroll the page as much as you want. And once you're done, click the done button. And then you'll get the long screenshot. And here we go. Next, I'll show you some camera gestures. So this is a camera application. First, we have tap to capture. Now to enable it, click this icon over here, then click tap. Now to take a picture, instead of pressing this shutter button, you can simply touch the preview window to take a picture. Now we also have another gesture to take selfies. Once again, go over here and select gesture. Now from now on, if you want to take a selfie, you can simply show your palm and your phone takes a selfie in two seconds. It is super handy, especially while taking selfies and you don't even have to click the shutter button. Now I'll show you how to change your default launcher, default messaging application, default browser and so on on your phone. For that, go to settings, scroll to the bottom, select app management and now select default apps. Now from this page, you can change your default launcher. Let's say you have installed Nova Launcher. This is where you need to come to change your default launcher. From here, you can also change your default browser to something like Google Chrome. Just do that. You can change your music player, video player and so on. This is something you should definitely try out. Now for some very quick important tips, go to settings and select notification and status bar. If you want to see network speed on the status bar, enable this toggle. If you want to see battery percentage on the status bar, enable this toggle. If you don't like it, disable it to hide it. And next, if you don't want to see banner notifications while you're playing games or watching videos, disable this toggle. Now, if you want to record all the calls on your phone automatically, this is what you need to do. Open the settings app, scroll to the bottom, select system apps, then call. Now select call recording. Now, once you enable this particular toggle, all the calls will be recorded automatically on your phone. This is disabled by default and this feature is available only in few countries. So if this feature is not available on your phone, it just means that feature is not available in your country. Now, finally, if you're someone who likes to use an OTG pen drive with their phone, it doesn't work right out of the box. You need to first enable that feature. So to enable it, go to settings, then select additional settings and enable OTG connection. Now, once you enable this toggle, then only your phone will detect an OTG pen drive. So guys, these are the most important tips and tricks for your Oppo A7. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video and definitely check out my video on the best features to know about all the features offered by this phone. By the way guys, if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel and if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.